Print the pattern at 100% scale. Then piece the sections together without overlapping the pages. I'm Zoe. Today, I will guide you through the steps to make a ruffled dress. I used silk organza for this dress. It floats delicately like a feather. The construction of this organza is almost mesh-like, and it is so sheer that prints will show through on both sides. This fine fabric is crisp and lightweight, and ideal for adding that ethereal quality to the dress. After you have taped the sheets of paper together, cut out the pattern pieces. Next, cut the main fabric and lining. For the upper front and shoulder strap pieces, I need to choose the color of interfacing. I only have two choices, black and white, therefore, I chose black to avoid the fabric becoming too bright after ironing. The choice is yours, choose the color you like for your dress. After ironing the interfacing onto the wrong side of the fabric, I ironed woven interfacing to make the fabric stiffer. My best choice was black woven interfacing, but I couldn't find the one I wanted in the stores. Next. Draw and cut out the upper front and shoulder strap pieces. Mark the position of the shoulder strap on the upper front pieces. Match the main fabric and lining of the back together. Pin and sew them together along the two lines as shown on the screen. Place the right side of the bias tape onto the wrong side of the back. Pin and sew 0.5 cm away from the edge of the fabric. Fold the seam allowance towards the binding, and then fold over the bias tape so that it is covering the seam allowance. Then top stitch and iron. Next. Wind the elastic thread onto the bobbin gently, being careful not to stretch it while winding. Place the bobbin into the bobbin case and turn the screw on the bobbin case to the left. Typically one full turn is enough. Remember how far the screw was turned so that you can easily reset the bobbin tension after shirring. Use a magnetic seam guide to align the shirring at 1 cm, 2 cm, 3 cm, and 4 cm intervals. Reset the bobbin tension after shirring.
Fold and sew the raw edge of the sleeve pieces. and use gather stitch on the other edge to gather the fabric. Pin the sleeve between the shoulder strap pieces and sew them together. Repeat this process on the other side. Roll the ruffle sleeve inside the shoulder strap and sew the remaining edge of the shoulder strap. Use scissors to clip the seam allowance, being careful not to cut through the stitching. and top stitch it. Pin the shoulder strap between the two upper front pieces and sew them together. Be careful not to mix up the shoulder strap of the front and the back. Use scissors to clip the seam allowance, being careful not to cut through the stitching. Fold the raw edge 1.27 cm and sew it by hand to secure the fabric. Then, iron it. Use a pen to draw the stitching line on the remaining piece of fabric. Sew two machine basting stitches onto the top and bottom of the second layer. Then grab the string with your right hand and use your left hand to pull the fabric towards you until you reach the desired length. Place the lining piece on the wrong side of the main piece. Pin and sew 0.5 cm from the edge.
Place the upper front piece on the lining front. Pin and sew 1.27 cm from the edge. Use scissors to clip into the seam allowance, being careful not to cut through the stitches. Fold the seam allowance up towards the upper front piece, then hand stitch it in place. Next, pin the back bodice piece between the two upper front pieces. Stitch a section that is the same width as the upper front. Turn the dress right side out. Use scissors to trim any excess fabric from the seam allowance, being careful not to cut through the stitches. This step can be difficult since we are working on the right side of the fabric. If you are a beginner, I would not recommend sewing a double-layered dress. Instead, sew a single-layered dress. Pin the right sides of the fabric together to sew the side seams, both for the lining and the outer fabric. Adhere sew about 0.5 cm from the edge of the fabric. Check both sides carefully, and if everything is okay, then top stitch to finish the front dress. Sew the shoulder straps onto the back bodice. Move on to the bottom of the dress. Sew the small edges of the bottom pieces together. Choose one of the longer edges to be the hem of the dress. The way to sew the hem is similar to how I taught you to sew the sleeve hem. Sew two machine basting stitches onto the top and bottom of the second layer. Then grab the string with your right hand and use your left hand to pull the fabric towards you until you reach the desired length. Pin the bottom piece to the dress right sides together and sew 1.27 cm from the edge. Finally, hem the lining layer. And we're done.